Today I want to talk about three things that will be helpful if you are going to qualify for a jumbo loan. So jumbo loans are any loan amount that is $1 over the county maximum limit. I'm not going to talk about what these limits are right now in this video because one reason is that these, these numbers change every year in December. Um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced the new jumbo loan amount limits, or not the jumbo loan amount limits, but the, the loan amount limit that they will lend on. And beyond that, you go into a new category called jumbo loans. So um, there's a few things that make them a little bit more difficult to qualify for for some people. And knowing some of these things ahead of time might help you quite a bit. The first thing that you want to know about is that jumbo loans typically have trade line requirements and a trade line is a credit account, um, car loan, credit card, student loan, mortgages, any, any line of credit qualifies. So any loan that you have that's reported on your credit report, they want to see generally three trade lines for every applicant where income is going to be used to qualify for the loan. There are some exceptions to these, uh, so you will want to ask your lender, but if you have three trade lines, they want them to be open and active for a minimum of 12 months. Some jumbo loans require one of them to be open for, for 24 months, and I have seen other um, underwriting guidelines allow for maybe not three open and active, but at least one of them needs to be open and active, and you can have closed trade lines, but um, they need to have been open for a minimum of 12 months. So you'll want to make sure that you meet the trade line requirements on the loan that you're qualifying for. The other thing that makes them a little different than a conventional loan is that um, they have reserve requirements that are, that are more strict than on a conventional loan. So most conventional loans don't have reserve requirements unless you own other properties, but um, Generally, a jumbo loan will have reserve requirements. You'll want to have a minimum of six months, but you will want to show all of your assets, even if you don't think you're going to need them for qualifying for the loan, because it can give you more options for more and sometimes better loan options on other, other programs. So if you have 12 months or 18 months or 24 months, sometimes that can open up some new options. So even if you're not going to use the money for a down payment and closing costs, be sure to show your lender that you have other assets because they will want to count those for you. You can generally use retirement accounts, but only a percentage of them if you are not retirement age. The other thing you'll want to do, my third tip, is to make sure that when you apply for your loan, you cover the, the, a full two years for your employment history even if you had a job gap, or even if you didn't work for one year and you have worked for the last year, please just allow or let your lender know what you were doing, doing during that time because you'll need to write a letter to explain it. The underwriter has to, to verify that your income is stable. And so they, they consider stable a, two, a full two year history. So if you've changed jobs and had a little bit of a gap, maybe even a month, you'll just want to explain that to them. Also, they're looking to see that your bonus income, commission income, overtime income, anything like that is also stable because they have to show that you've received that for two years, if that's part of your income. There are some jumbo loans that allow for less than two years, but they will definitely want you to explain it and it will need to make sense. So. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions on this, please reach out. I'm here to help.